Ben Shapiro just put out a huge attack on Taylor Swift's new album, called it Garbage. Mind you, I just reacted to the album and think it's amazing, a masterpiece. So let's just see what he has to say. Alrighty, folks, it's a Friday, so it's time to deconstruct some culture. Taylor Swift's new album is here. People are really excited. It's called The Tortured Poets Department, which is so tiresome. Oh, can we stop pretending that she's high art? Please, please, The Tortured Poets. Yes, she's tortured. She's so tortured. She's so tortured that she's worth billions of dollars for singing songs that are most appropriately sung by 16 and 17 year old girls as a 34 year old woman who's childless and unmarried. Whoa. Cause a 40 year old man making a YouTube video whining about a female pop star for 17 minutes straight should be the standard. Yeah, let's all listen to this guy. He seems like he has his shit together. And listen, I'm not a 16 or 17 year old girl and I could still appreciate Taylor's music and believe she's one of the best songwriters of our generation, which is so easily proven by by her most recent album or the ones Folklore and Evermore, but there's so many gems throughout her entire discography. It doesn't matter what you listen to, the pop, the folk, the rock, the country, every era, but let's move on. So boring, tortured, but oh, oh, the angst, the feelings, ooh. How about like a little maturity at some point here? Every time I hear artists like Taylor Swift, the tortured poets department, all I can think of is people who are actually tortured around the world. Ugh. Give me a fucking break. There's obviously a large range for what's considered this subjective term torture. Her album's media, it's a piece of art, and if you read literature, there's exaggerations all the damn time. And I bet Ben even uses the word torture in his regular vocabulary, like we all do. But let's pull something up he posted last month. You're gonna Funny video, but you didn't make a single comment about the usage of the word torture in this. Give me a fucking break. One, one of my favorite headlines from The Onion years ago, it was a point counterpoint. They used to have a, a column that was point counterpoint. And the point was a little American girl, 10, 11 years old, saying, I'm starving. And the whole article was about how she was really hungry after getting home from school. And the other one was a Somali kid saying, I'm starving because they were literally starving. That's how I feel about Taylor Swift and her tortured poets department nonsense. So she has put up a poetic post about the album, the tortured poets department, and soft focus, soft focus picture of Taylor Swift, and then one of her lying on the bed, and then one of her standing in fashion, and oh my God, wow, she does look tortured. She looks, oh wow. The tortured poets department, an anthology of new works that reflect events, opinions, and sentiments from a fleeting and fatalistic moment in time. One that was both sensational and sorrowful in equal measure. Uh, there are 31 songs? 31? Why? You're getting angry that she had the work ethic to write 31 long, lyrically dense songs with dozens of references, allusions, metaphors, and complex melodies while performing on a sold out world tour. Meanwhile, you're sitting on your ass talking about it. For people who don't know, Taylor dropped her album at midnight as expected, but at 2 a.m. she surprised her fans with a double album, 16 new tracks on top of the first 15 out of nowhere. No one knew it was gonna drop, but she spoiled her fans. Meanwhile, there's artists who haven't put out music in years, or some people will put out one song per year and call themselves a full-time musician, not adding anyone. Again, I think we should be praising artists that actually work and do their job and keep their fans happy and full, because it's way better than the latter. I don't get this, Ben. Why 31 songs? 31 songs? What the hell? This period of the author's life is now over. The chapter closed and boarded up. Well, no, it isn't because now you're just spilling your guts about it. Gotta hear about how you dated a bunch of other guys that you ended up marrying. Well, yeah, good for you, lady. Grown ass men write songs about girls they don't end up marrying all the fucking time. Drake in the weekend talk about fucking bitches every day, ghosting them with a bunch of sexually explicit, sometimes gross lyrics. I do enjoy some of their music, but if you think Taylor Swift writing songs about her ex-boyfriend is the bigger issue, then you're sexist. I don't know what else to fucking say. Oh, uh, people who find this stuff profound. I don't want to be around them. Our tears become holy in the form of ink on a page. Can you mix your metaphors anymore there, lady? Like, uh, once we have spoken our saddest story, we can be free of it. It's Freudian talk therapy, but now you have to pay to listen to it. And then all that's left behind is the tortured poetry. The tortured poets department is out now. I just want to vomit.
You didn't suffer. Stop pretending that you've experienced real suffering because you dated a bunch of guys you didn't marry. Everyone undergoes suffering at very different scales. There's obviously people who have it a million times worse. There's no comparing. But we all suffer. Every human being. This is just another situation where the guy's fucking exaggerating and whining and crying and honestly being a pussy. Come on, give me something good. Real suffering. You, you, you seem like to absolute tortured. Like really tortured. This sort of stuff gets at me. It gets at me because stop, stop being such a whiny pain in the ass. Like, seriously. Oh, he wanted to say bitch so fucking bad. This misogynistic piece of shit. They didn't even edit that part out. I don't know if you know this, Ben, but songwriting is this therapeutic act that helps singers and songwriters cope with their emotions and experiences. And the songs are supposed to be this incredibly vulnerable piece of art that they put together and hope that other people relate to their suffering. Musicians do this all the time. Kurt Cobain from Nirvana, his lyrics reflected his dissatisfaction with fame and became Came this outlet for his struggles with substance abuse and mental health and taylor's dealt with a lot throughout her career it's not easy growing up in the limelight and being hated for virtually every move you fucking make in your life because one you're a woman and two you're the biggest pop star in the world in the words of, of, of arnold Schwarzenegger, stop whining why are you so whiny all the the time you're fucking whiny bro this is annoying just to hear his whininess this whole video him whining and moaning that's what's really annoying i know people who have, who have experienced actual real tragedy actual real <sighs> torture there are people in the world who have kids who have cancer and those kids die that's a real then you get to talk about torture you are not tortured because you went out with a boy and then he was mean to you and you couldn't communicate properly and then you broke up and then you went on your private jet. Taylor Swift was in a six-year relationship with Joe Alwyn, which just ended last year. She should be able to put out however many albums she wants about that or any of her experiences after that relationship. Who gives a fuck? She can even make up stories, which is what she did with Folklore and Evermore. It's her job to make songs. Olivia Rodrigo addressed this same sexist songwriting criticism. She was like, I don't really understand what people want me to write about do you want me to make a song about income taxes how am i gonna write an emotional song about that and the truth is you won't see ben shapiro making this clickbaity youtube video when drake drops an album or the weekend drops an album it's usually only women weirdly enough this fucking obnoxious sexist bitter piece of shit fuck you ben i think you should really listen to who's afraid of little old me off taylor's new album or maybe the smallest man who ever lived she probably made this song about him you're not tortured and 17 year old girls who are being taught to act like frivolous, ridiculous, emotionally self-involved, puerile brats like this? Ugh, I hate this crap. I really, really hate it. And I haven't even heard it yet. I don't even know if the music is good or anything. I don't know. You're making a video titled Taylor Swift's new album is garbage and you haven't listened to it yet? You fucking phony. Oh my God. Why am I even making this video? You know, it's, I'm sure there will be four chords because that's all she can play on the guitar. She's been a musician for way longer than your sorry ass, pathetic, meaningless career, Ben. You really do provide no fucking value to the world. I'm tired. Tortured post apartment. She's so deep, guys. She's so deep. Or maybe she's the shallowest person you've ever heard of in your entire life. She's a cheerleader who is dating the high school quarterback in front of everyone, and she's worth billions of dollars and flies around on private jets and sells you her supposed tears. Uh, do not like. Anti. We'll get to more on this in just a moment. First, finding- We get off that, little bro. Fuck your ad. Anyways, that's all Ben Shapiro really touches on regarding Taylor Swift in this video. He made his title and thumbnail Taylor-related with two photos of Taylor, and it's honestly pathetic how he's trying to make money off of her likeness while simultaneously hating on her for no logical reason. Very sad, but we see the same story over and over again with him and Candace and everyone. Again, he didn't listen to the album, yet said it was garbage, so I don't even have to even de- construct his opinion or his argument. This straight up ruins all his credibility, if he still has any at this point. He was whining the whole time. It honestly gave me a fucking headache. But yeah, this is for all the people who asked me to react to Ben's attacks on Taylor. Thank you all so much for watching and feel free to send me any more content suggestions you guys may have. But love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Later.